EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it will be the AFC champion Miami Dolphins taking on the NFC champions, the San Francisco 49ers. I'm Brandon Gaughan. To my left is my good friend Charles Davis, and what a thrill to be here for the biggest one of them all, the Super Bowl. And it seems to get bigger every year. The lights get brighter. The cameras more numerous. I don't know. There's just so much that goes into this game. It's an honor to be here, isn't it? It is an honor, and I can't wait to share this game with you. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. You're my partner, my best friend. I can't imagine being anywhere else but right here with you. And just think about it this way. You mentioned the magnitude. This is no longer just a game for America or even North America. This is worldwide. People watching from just about every country in the world. This is impressive. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and just about ready to roll. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. You look at this Super Bowl, the second appearance for this head coach. The first one did not go as planned, as we all know, but what do you think he's learned from that first go around? He learned how much it hurts to lose, and that's what you hear from coaches so often. They don't remember the wins as much as they remember the losses. You can talk about the media, the scrutiny, the hoopla, but once you've had to shake a head coach's hand and jog off the field and know you have to face the media, face your fans, 
face your home life knowing that you've lost the Super Bowl, that hurts big time, and you're going to do everything possible to try and prevent that from happening again. Being chased out left. Oh, no, his first throw in his Super Bowl is intercepted. Brandon Jones picking it off. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And that makes it 7 nothing Dolphins. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This taken in at the goal line. Sheds off the tackle. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Everyone rolls into the Super Bowl saying, hey, I'm confident. I'll just do what I did before. But let's face it, you got to be wary of the jitters going into a big game like this. Super Bowl is unlike any other game you're going to play. And now he's starting out 0 for 2. We'll see if he can rebound. A give running left. It's McCaffrey. This will be a short gain of 3 before he's brought down at the 22. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. On third down, Lawrence. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now on to punt. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it'll be Dolphin football. To and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at the 40. Here's A-Chan to start the drive. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stump that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Tua wants to throw it on second down. They're looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. That one good for 26 and a first down. It's a nice zone breaker right there. Take the tight end, move him out to the slot, then have him run a corner route versus the zone coverage, which means he's going to be behind the, the, the shallow coverage and ahead of the deep coverage, put the ball right on him. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Running right on the option is Tua. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He'll get eight on the keeper there. It'll be second and a couple. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Now a second and two. Water, water, water. Water, water, water. Now Tua. And he will find his man Schwartz. That's complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 15-yard line. 
And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receivers breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. Now HN on first and ten. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gate of three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Second and seven. Motion man is Schwartz. And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the eight. Now they did get a little gain on this play, but all in all, a nice job defensively against the touch pass. They were able to string it out towards the sideline and never let him get the corner, turn it upfield for a bigger chunk of yardage. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll run for it with a chance. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Devon a chance. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins will add to their first quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now 14 to nothing. Jason Sanders to kick off now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. And able to steer clear of that first tackler as he works his way forward for about four. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Meanwhile, this one knocked down in the backfield. It's incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being right, gone right. makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. Buying time to his left. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. Hey, Lion. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. And they'll try and throw for it with Lawrence. That's to his running back, complete. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And that will force a turnover on downs. Running right, here's a chance. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Devon Achan, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Dolphins continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 21 to Zim. Jason Sanders to kick off for Miami. 
Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This fielded right at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's, that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it. I think you just called a desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he powers his way up past the 30. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. And this offense on third down today, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They're up against a third and one situation. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 18 yards, first down, Niners. From midfield now, Lawrence. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. From the gun on third down, Lawrence. That is caught. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Off the play fake. Here's Lawrence. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. But this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure, and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey from 17 yards out. And the Niners are able to cut into that deficit. Moody good with the extra point, And they'll cut the lead to 21-7. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. But no run back here. Fair catch. And this will come out to the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. HN here. They stay on the ground. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 55 yards rushing for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, 
it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. 2 and now on first down. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Tua. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Niners are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. So really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered, they would had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you start to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. On play action, Lawrence flush to his right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now third down and seven. Motion to the left with Jennings. Lawrence. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. First and ten, it's Lawrence. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Lawrence. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. 
Well, what looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll send the tight end in motion left. From the shotgun, Lawrence. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. And his kick is indeed good, and that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing the coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. Now Tua signaling to change things up. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Tua once again here on second and ten. That is incomplete. Over the dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've got a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. play of the half. It's Lawrence. He's going to let this one go deep. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Jair Alexander. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. 
These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And the fair catch signaled for and taken, so they'll begin this third quarter from their 25 yard line. down Miami as they get set to start the drive and I would imagine this is where you have to take stock of the situation CD and say gosh we're halfway to the Lombardi trophy let's not slow down now and I like the way you went there let's not slow down now because the first half certainly went their way and I would expect them to continue that type of a game plan but you're right you do think back to Super Bowl 54 49ers had a double digit lead in the fourth quarter couldn't hold on so plenty can still happen the big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Again, it's A-Chan. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. A.J. Terrell coming up to make the play. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. On second down, Tua. They'll swing this out wide. Here's HM. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Out of the gun on third down. Here's Tua. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. And no one likes to see that drop, but I'll guarantee it's not going to stop this quarterback from going back to him anytime he has open space. Line up to go for it here on fourth down. 21G, 21G. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. First down, this is McCaffrey. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. 88 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. From the 38 now, here's second and three. Play action, it's Lawrence. And the Dolphins rush gets home, down he goes. It'll go as a loss of about six and now it brings up third. They tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just to set up a certain blocking technique. In this case, none of it worked. Here's Lawrence to throw. That's Samuel caught left side. And he'll get nothing out of that one. No gain on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Right, right. Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. Fourth down. Here's Lawrence. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. 
And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. They run the option here on first and ten. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 14 yards that time, and a first down on the keeper. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Setting the throw on first down is Tua. Throw left side there, Schwartz with it. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. They work now on second and nine. They give to A-Chan on the option. And he is going to lose yardage here. He lost four there, and it's third down. Well, that was not what you would call straight line pursuit for a middle linebacker to make this play. He's got to work his way through the clutter to get to the ball carrier on the outside, and he does exactly that. That's called avoiding the trash. And third and 12. Now two are going to change the play. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sat back at the 38. Nick Bosa drops him for a loss of 12, and it also brings up fourth down. that they needed here, Charles, trailing, but a big block. We'll see if that swings the momentum a bit. You mentioned the word spark. I'm just wondering, as they went off the field and the offense was coming out, did one of those special teams members say, hey, obviously we haven't given up on this one. We've given you a little bit of a spark. What are you going to do with it? Eluding the pressure right. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second and nine. Now a quick throw as they get it to Ayuk outside. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, got it, got it. and it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll try and pick it up in McCaffrey. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Well, it looks like they'll move things around here. Take right open, open. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception. But playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. Are you going to go in motion right? Second and ten now, it's Lawrence. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. And down right around the 32-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Go, go, let's go. They go play action now. Lawrence. 
And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. Here we go, got to have it. Lawrence, that is caught. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. The stop to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. They're going to hurry back to the line now. In motion left goes Jennings. Lawrence going to throw again. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Right, let's go. The Niners on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This will be third and five. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Lawrence now to throw after that last run. Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. Touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the 49ers take the block field goal and convert it into six points. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Lawrence going to look to throw for it. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. And they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass. Picked it off. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Fair catch going to be taken. And this will be moved out to the 25. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. The drive starts with a run from a champ. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using this time. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. To it. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the air and pass. Fourth down coming up. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Hey, They'll come up first and 10 here. 11, here we go. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. Those 
should almost be cream bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And yeah, he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. Here we go. This is fourth down. Oh, they're changing this at the line. They'll run for it. McCaffrey. Room here to run. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Oh, boy. Christian McCaffrey shaken up. So hold everything here as they're going to take a look at it. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Up the middle, here's Mitchell. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Another try, second and ten now. A snap to Lawrence as he taps this forward. He'll be hit down at the 43, five yards on the play. What a Super Bowl it's been to this point. Now a critical third down here. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Back to the ground here, Mitchell. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. A second down. The 49ers moving hastily. They're scurrying to the line. Lawrence. Got a man. That's how you. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Now San Francisco are going to call their second timeout as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Now the Niners going to single for their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Back to throw. Lawrence steps away. And he's across for the touchdown. And it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, but they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. And he'll get into the end zone. So now a field goal would only tie as they've upped their lead to three. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here's first and ten.
Here's Tua. He's going to let it fly. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to be out of bounds inside the 25 yard line. Well, Clark, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they put field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. And his kick is good. And the Dolphins have tied things up here in the fourth. So four quarters wasn't enough, and we are off to overtime. And change that dial. the 49ers who will get the football first with a chance to win it here in overtime. Fighting his way through contact. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. costly holding penalty it backs them up all the way inside their 10 to start this drive from the gun to give to Mitchell and he'll take this ahead for about four second down coming up short game there to start overtime almost a tester play wasn't it wanted to see if the guys on defense were going to fit the gaps the correct way because we're in overtime so it's not just physical tiredness out there right Mentally, are you still doing what you're supposed to do? And they were up to the task on that play. And certainly fatigue on both sides of the football. A touchdown would obviously be ideal to start this overtime. They'd still need to play defense, but it's first and ten. An option give now to Mitchell. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Tense moments in overtime of a Super Bowl. Remember, a touchdown doesn't yet clinch it as they come up on second down. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw taken in by Samuel. He was out there waving his arms. When you get a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you've got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And he is going to have a 49ers first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A give running right is Mitchell. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 13 yards there and a Niner first. A nice start for them here to overtime. And, and maybe the plan here is don't do anything too crazy. Don't try for some big play charges. Move the chains. Put the pressure on the defense. Well, these early first downs are certainly nice confidence builders as they begin overtime because even though you just played four quarters, the feeling's entirely different when you take the field in OT because you just want to settle in, as you suggested, keep the ball moving, and rely on your opponent to make that first big mistake. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Once again, it's Mitchell. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. And they're going with some extra beef up front. They've got to have this one in overtime. It's third and one. On play action, Lawrence. Pass to the sideline. Pulled in. But he is out of bounds, but not before. He's inside the 30. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. He did not have a catch to that moment. Pretty good time for his first one, though, here at OT. I would agree with that. And just think about how to, to cycle through all the play sheets, right? Try to find ways to get a lot of people to football. In this case, as you said, he hadn't had a catch all game. Now they find him in a key moment. Really well done. On the stop there defensively, Marcus May with a the tackle. 
They've had some success here in overtime with this opening drive running the football right back to that well. And why not? When you have that kind of success, make them stop you. And until they do, keep going back to that well you just spoke about. I think there's more water there than the And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. They're going to take this to about the 10 yard line. A touchdown does not end it, remember, but it sure would give them a leg up. It's first and goal here. Off the play fake. Here's Lawrence. Complete to the tight end. Kittle over the middle of the field. Touchdown, Fighters! And Charles, that touchdown alone doesn't win him the game anymore with the rule changes in overtime in the postseason. But they still went down, scored, got the job done, and now they put it in the hands of their defense. And with the other side not guaranteed an overtime possession, getting that score was vital. The pressure's now on their opponent, and their defense, they have to play off the momentum. The offense generated one stop, and they end this game. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, CD, in the regular season, they would already be celebrating. Not so simple here in the playoffs. Now they also need to make a defensive stand if they want to pick up the victory. Yeah, I'm sure the team would be in favor of just taking the win right now. But in a small way, both defenders are also kind of happy for the win change. Because now, on the big stage of postseason, they're the ones who can come out here and lock down the victory. All right, what can Tua do now with his drive at OT? That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed some toughness to go across the middle you put it all together you got a heck of a tight end candidate so cd in the postseason they obviously get the chance to answer that touchdown from a bit ago but how do they set aside that pressure knowing that their entire season is coming down to this series what a great question and i don't think that they set it aside i think that they confront it and they've done it throughout practice time in preparation for opportunities like this Now Tua. Fighting room at midfield. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Right. Working from a seven-point deficit here in overtime of this Super Bowl. And remember, they'll need to score before time runs out as they work on second down. HM gets it from the gun. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. That makes third down a lot more interesting. It certainly does. How about the example of situational football there and his ability to think the play through? Second and short, not anticipating a passing play, sold out and made a great tackle, which brings up third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him. And really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Here's Tua. He'll dump this off to Ochan. Even with him busting through the contact, he'll still be stopped just inside the 35. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 
timeout called for by the offense. So we'll take a break with them and be right back. This is where the NFL is headed year by year, partner. A league where just about everyone has someone under center who can get you with their legs as well as their arm. And we've certainly had a nice display of that for both QBs in this game. And that continued with that first down run. Tua. This one thrown underneath to Achan. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Now a timeout called for by the offense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. Four downs to get into the end zone and tie this game. It's first and goal. Oh, it's intercepted. That'll seal it. And the 49ers are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Gigantic play by this defense, Charles. So they came back in the fourth quarter, took the momentum into overtime, and now they take the football. And how do you think? The team that just threw the big feels right now. They surrendered the lead, got to overtime, had a chance to redeem themselves, and now they put the game in jeopardy with another pick. And guess what? Their defense has to hold. And the San Francisco 49ers will hoist the Lombardi Trophy as Super Bowl champions. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season.